Hi, this is Jonas. In this video, I'll go through and show how to create a custom ESXi installer ISO image with additional drivers for network cards that are not on the VMware HCL or hardware compatibility list. And the drivers you can download from VMware, but how do you get them onto the ISO image? So I've created a PowerShell script to automate this process. And it'll go through all of the steps, including first installing the PowerCLI module for VMware, and it'll download a particular version of ESXi, which you can customize. And um, then it'll get the drivers. And finally, it will take those drivers and wrap them up into an ISO image, which you can then uh, put on an, uh, a USB or CD or DVD, and then install your server from there. We'll go through some of the steps in the beginning. And in order to install the um, VMware PowerCLI module, you need to run it with admin rights. So I'll open up a PowerShell script or PowerShell uh, window with admin rights and we'll copy and paste these steps across. You could just run the entire script uh, with admin rights and it would do the entire thing for you. But I just wanted to cover these things here manually to show how you can customize the script in case you would like a different ESXi version or different drivers. So we'll just run the install uh, of the PowerCLI CLI module. I've sped this up because it does take a few minutes. Once this is done, we'll also continue to show how you can see the other versions of ESXi that you can download, just to give you the option to do that. Now, the one that we've picked here is uh, 7.0.1, but uh, we'll add this ESX, ESX uh, software depot and then we will run a command called get ESX image profile, which will list up all the available images that you can download. Now you can just replace what's in the script with whatever version that you want. So now we've got the depot added and we'll copy across this command as well to get the ESX versions. This again takes a little bit to, uh, to get this data down. I sped this up or skipped ahead, but you can see there's quite a few different versions to choose from. So feel free to replace what's in the script with something from here. We'll continue running it with the uh, 701 image, because that's what we want to have for our local system. Now, the steps that you have to do in an admin window are up to here. So I'll comment these out, and then we'll continue running the actual script from uh, a PowerShell ESI or IAC uh, window instead without the admin rights. So we open up IAC with a normal user. We'll then open the uh, script that we just looked at. And as you can see, we have commented out the installation of the PowerCLI module. Now we want to have these files downloaded uh, and the ISO created in a particular folder that is on the desktop. And as you can see, it's on the PowerShell script in that folder at the moment. So we'll navigate there from uh, this console as well, from the, the ISE console. If I can spell to the folder name correctly. And there we are, same folder, same PowerShell script. So let's go and execute this. And then we can follow it as it downloads the ESXi image uh, and the driver images, as well as wrapping that up into an ISO. Now, there is no indicator as to how far the download has gone. Uh, so it will look like the PowerShell script is stuck at this point, uh, but be patient. It'll take five to 10 minutes uh, to get this downloaded even though it is only 300 and something megs. I normally track it from the task manager and look at the network to see that it's downloading from there, because otherwise you don't have an indicator really. So I'll skip ahead here and you can see the base image has already been downloaded and then the drivers comes next. There we go. And it has also wrapped it up into an ISO image. And that's it, now we're done. This image can now be put on a USB stick and then you can boot from that and install but how do we know that the drivers are actually included? Let's just verify this. So we right click and we mount this ISO. We go into the upgrade folder and you can see that there's a, a profile.xml file inside here. So we open that up in VS Code. 
change the formatting. So we had two drivers we added. One was the net community driver. So let's just go and search for that. And it's all on top there. The next one was the USB fling for networking. And that is also there. So you can see that it's verified. Those drivers that we wanted uh, have been added to this ISO image and now it can be used. But what if you wanted to add different drivers? Now, it's easy enough to download the zip files and uh, add them in here. But as you can see further down in the script, in order to add this to this image profile, um, it has this software package statement down here. And it says net community and VMK USB NIC fling. So where does this come from? Well, if we go and open the zip files for the drivers that we downloaded previously, you can see that inside of, of this package, you have a VIB20 folder. And if we go in there, you can see that we have the same name there, net-community, the folder matches what's in the PowerShell script. So how about the fling for USB? We go and open that zip file as well. And inside we have a VIB20 folder and inside that we have the folder name that matches that string that is in the PowerShell script. So if you have another package that you want to add, just unzip it, have a look at the folder name and then you will know what to put in here for the script. And that's all. Uh, good luck installing your systems, your custom systems using this, and thank you for watching. Thank you.